everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're making chicken skewers, so hit that subscribe button and watch me cook. If you're using wooden skewers, grab about a dozen of these and let them soak in some water for about 30 minutes. You're going to need about 8 green onions. My thumb is about 2 inches long, so I use it as my guideline to cut all the green onions across. Set these aside when you're done into a bowl. Now let's make our sauce. There's two different kinds you can choose from, a non-spicy and spicy version. Of course, I chose the spicy version. I doubled all of the ingredients except for the hot pepper paste. This way it's not too much for my family, or at least I hope. I also skipped the honey and used my brown sugar Splenda in place of it, just to keep it diabetic friendly. And for anyone that's gluten sensitive, substitute with tamari in place of the soy sauce. Again, I doubled everything except for the hot pepper paste. Now let's grab the ketchup we measured out earlier and mix everything until well combined. Depending on how large your chicken is, you're going to cut them down to bite-sized pieces. Once you're done cutting your chicken, place them all into a bowl and go ahead and add your rice wine, salt, and pepper to taste. Once I had all my seasonings in there and the way I wanted it, I went ahead and grabbed my plastic gloves just so I can blend it up all together. Now let's get back to our skewers. I laid down a paper towel, pulled them apart because some of them got stuck together, and just blotted them dry. And now we're going to use these and start skewering our chicken. Starting with the chicken piece, go ahead and alternate everything. So chicken, green onion, chicken, green onion, chicken, green onion. Continue to do these for as many pieces as you can on each skewer. Or actually, more like as many as you want on each skewer. I ended up using about 10 out of the 12 skewers that I soaked. And honestly, some of my bite-sized chickens were kind of large. And the 10th skewer took all the little pieces of chicken that I had left over. Aren't these a beauty? It's perfect for summertime outdoor grilling or anytime really. Grilling time! You can do these on a skillet. Like I said, outdoors or on a grill pan like I am. So I'm going to spray down my pan with cooking oil and put in my chicken skewers. So the recipe says that we should go ahead and cook these on a medium high heat temperature. Now we're supposed to cook these for 3 minutes on one side. I don't have a lid to fit on this pan so I'm just going to use tin foil to speed up the cooking process. Alright, my 3 minutes have passed and now let's take a look. Yeah, that's a no. But I can't waste these so I'm going to go ahead and continue on. By brushing my sauce all over my skewers, I'm making sure to get it all over the chicken and the green onion. Okay, since I didn't like that, I'm going to start all over. I just wiped out my pan all over again, just like I've showed you guys in previous videos, where you just use some paper towels with your tongs and just wipe it all down. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to heat between medium and medium low. Repeating the same steps as before. These turned out so much better. Make sure you flip it cook it for two minutes on this side. Go ahead and sauce it up, basting in between your chickens and your green onions because you want that flavor to absorb in all of that. And just repeat the same process. I ended up coating mine about two times per side. And let me tell you, these look amazing now. Once your skewers are done, go ahead and set these aside and cook the rest of your skewers the exact same way. Overall, this tasted amazing. We loved the outcome, even the ones that turned out to be a little too charred. If you guys like this recipe, please hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Until the next meal, thank you for watching Watch Me Cook.